Before every big plan comes about, ideas and thoughts have to be raised. I'm here at the University of Malaya in Kuala Lumpur where hundreds of young Malaysians are expected to give their ideas that will lead to the drafting of a plan called the National Transformation 50 Policy or TN50. And tonight is going to be the first of many such engagements between the public and the government throughout this year. Many Malaysians in their 20s and their 30s gathered here Thursday evening waiting for the arrival of Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak. Yang amat berhormat Perdana Menteri Malaysia Datuk Seri Najib Tun Abdul Razak. Yeah. In a speech, he talked about the policy's aims, which, true to its name, had a 2050 deadline. 1.3 trillion is the size of the Malaysian economy hari ini. Saya nda ekonomi kita menjadi 2 trillion economy dalam masa 8 tahun. Itu satu saya sebut. Yang kedua saya kata, saya fikir punya fikir, saya nak Malaysia to be a top 20 nation in the world. Top 20. We want to hear your views. Kita nak dengar aspirasi orang muda. Isi hati orang muda. Kehendak orang muda. Najib then asked some of those in the crowd what they wish to see in Malaysia some 30 years in the future. They would ask him about the environment, living in cities and education, and he took those views in return. It was an exchange that he considered the first of its kind. Uh, you are absolutely right. I think uh, as a, you, know, you, you, you brought a very, very uh, valid point how we can make our cities more livable. Thank you. Saya sebenarnya... Dalam 41 tahun saya dalam politik, malam ni yang paling nervous sekali. <laughs> Sebab saya tak pernah buat ni. Not this style. Saya tak pernah pakai mic macam ni. <laughs> Dan it is a live audience. Saya simpulkan bahawa majlis dialog pertana pada malam ini amat berjaya sekali. Similar engagements and dialogues are expected to take place this year. With the discussion also being taken online, the views of millions of Malaysians are expected to be heard and compiled to form a policy guide that may be released late next year or in 2019. I'm Patrick Lee, reporting for the Star TV.